legislative champion, somebody who's gathered a national reputation and is looked to by people all across the country, has been leading the charge on H.R. 676, Senate Bill 703, as well as our bill right here in Pennsylvania, Senate Bill 400. Jim Furlow is a champion because, unique among legislators, he gets it. He gets what it means when we say inside-outside politics. Inside you work the halls, outside you bring pressure to bear. Without further ado, our friend and champion, Senator Jim Furlow from Pittsburgh. in other states. I see folks here from the northern tier, from Erie County, all the way over to Wayne County. I see folks from the southern part of our great state of Pennsylvania, from Greene County, all the way over to Chester and Delaware County, and from the great city of champions, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yeah! Over to our sister city, Philadelphia, and maybe the Phillies will win this city. be clear about one thing. We are for a public option, but a public option is the single-payer plan. Yeah. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, despite the fact that my bill and your bill, Senate Bill 400, has nine other Democratic co-sponsors, and I don't know if it's because they knew you were going to pack the chambers and rock the Capitol today, but all of a sudden the Senate isn't meeting today, unfortunately, and neither is the House, although I know a number of colleagues are throughout the building. I see Bill Quartz here from Allegheny County. God bless him. So since you're not here, I just want to ask you one basic question. What do we want? everybody in our society, black and white, young and old, gay and straight, folks who are taking it on the chin and are unemployed, don't have money to maintain basic health insurance coverage. I see people from various ideological persuasions. Uh, I think there might even be a couple of teabaggers in the crowd today because the fact of the matter is some of them, and don't be confused about them, some of them are angry because it always seems like we take care of Wall Street instead of taking care of Main Street. So I know, I know that when we do our outreach, don't write anybody off when we build this movement. And look at the movement that we all and you all have built, not only here in the Commonwealth, but across the nation. We have thousands and thousands and thousands of people organizations, unions, churches, religious groups, local city councils, fraternal groups, veterans clubs, you name it, we have multiplied the loaves and the fishes in this commonwealth and then across our great nation to demand once and for all that we have health care as a basic human right and that we remove profit and greed from the industry. people mobilized in the street and got in your face and spoke truth to power with a movement that created unemployment compensation and workers' disability and the social security system and the movement to create federal Medicare and the movement to create the Occupational Safety and Health Act. We've never seen such a movement as what we have organized across the nation. But let's be clear, our voices are not always being heard. Why? because we have a corporate media that is being bought and sold by private companies. 